Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix. And it is now officially the, I can't say tarot card reading weekend because, I, well, I guess Friday might be considered the weekend, but whatever. Usually I do these on the weekend when they come up. Capricorn, I have been laughing all day long because I did your pre-shuffle. For those who may not know, and who may be new to my channel when I do the tarot card energy readings, I do a pre-shuffle on my main deck and on my clarifying deck. And this morning, I decided to do the pre-shuffle just to have it done. And I knew I was going to record this later on in the evening. So for the pre-shuffle, <laughs> I got the um, Eight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. And, then, and that was on the main deck. Then on the clarifying deck, I got the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the reason I was laughing is because when I did my reading for February, was it February? No, for March, because this is April's reading that I'm doing now. When I did my reading for March, there was a glow up is what I had said. And I had talked about that there was going to be some type of eureka moment for Capricorn in the month of March, where the energy was going to be there. And where you were feeling bad about something, where your self-esteem was kind of low and you were kind of beating yourself up and doing all of this other stuff, like negative self-talk, there was going to be a moment where you're like, I'm not going to do that anymore. And then I said that there's going to be a glow up. Well, <laughs> based off of the pre-energy and with the Eight of Swords, I, I do, first of all, I don't read reversals, which it wasn't reversed. I read energy. It came right side up, but I'm taking this Eight of Swords as a reversal because with the Eight of Swords is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's usually a self-imposed prison. I'm not picking that up. I might say a double-edged sword reading in the sense of, okay, you could be keeping people away from yourself. Like you're making the conscious decision now that you're not going to let too many people in to your energy anymore. But also the other way that I'm reading it is that you're breaking, you've already broken free. You're going to break free completely in April. Because again, this is for April's energy. And we're still in March right now. Where you're going to completely break free. And with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands is very confident. The Queen of Wands energy, which was in the clarifying deck. The Queen of Wands is very confident. Also in the main deck, the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a very confident individual. Usually the Nine of Pentacles is a woman standing on her own. And again, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Tarot has no gender. So even when I'm talking about queens and women and, and so on and so forth, if you're a male listening to this, it doesn't matter. It, I'm talking about the energy that the individual is embodying of, of this particular of these particular cards is what I'm talking about. So with the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles is someone who worked really hard to get to where they're at. And it can be actual work where on the job having a business or it can be self-esteem work in, in doing that and building oneself up, working on being more positive about a situation, working on believing in yourself too. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles, it came out upside down. But again, in the clarifying deck, I don't read reversals. With the Ten of Pentacles, I'm seeing it as, especially since the Nine of Pentacles was in the main deck with the pre-shuffle, I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles as you're focused on your abundance. Pentacles deals with stability and abundance, and it's Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So... That's your energy. You're focused on stability. You're focused on st abundance. That is what you will be focusing on in the month of April is what I'm picking up in the pre-energy. But 
as you're focusing on that, I just feel that you're going to have a ridiculous amount of self-esteem. It's almost like, and the reason I was laughing because I was thinking about this play. There's this old play with, um, for those who may not know, um, Tyler Perry. And there's this character that he used to play because to my understanding, the character's been retired. But the character is Medea. And in this old play, Medea's class reunion, one of the characters in the movie or in the play, she, in spoiler alert, <laughs> she had cheated on her husband and her husband was still mad at her and he would treat her any type of way. And she just put up with it because she felt bad about the situation. I have to take a sip of my lemon water too. So give me a second. Mm. Okay, there we go. And she felt bad about it. So she she would never, she would never, I don't want to say fight back because that fight has a negative connotation to it. She would never, you know, put her foot down or anything like that. She just felt like she deserved it because she was the one who cheated. And when he was um, rude with her in front of Medea, Medea was like, wow, you you have low self-esteem. And then um, she was like, no, I deserved it. And she's like, no, I deserve it. And she's like, why do you deserve it? And then she was like, because I cheated on him. And then Medea was like, oh, you got too much self-esteem. <laughs> So, and that's what I was laughing about all day long. And that's what I feel. <laughs> that's what I feel your energy is going to be for now that you have had the realization in the month of March, whatever, whatever Eureka moment it was, because I'm pretty sure in that reading, because obviously I'm not going to remember all the readings because I, I do so many, but I'm pretty sure the Ace of Swords came out in that reading. Ace of Swords is about clarity and communication and being able to cut through all of the illusions, all of the negative and remove things that don't serve someone and also bring about new ideas as well and bringing about a new idea about oneself. Aces are about newness. And I feel that for the month of March, now that that's happened, your self-esteem has went off the charts. It's like you're really going to be feeling yourself in April, especially with that Queen of Wands energy. That is what I picked up in the pre-shuffle. Now that I've said all that, let me go ahead and get to the main event. So I'm going to take eight cards just to see where your energy is going to be at or what energy is going to be available. And I just go wherever the energy goes. So let me go ahead and get eight cards. This deck is something else. This is, I just got this deck today, this particular deck. So let's get this going. This one has got some thickness to it. But you know what? That's all right. All right, I need eight cards for Capricorn for the energy of April 2021. Now, okay. Wow. Capricorn, you cannot make this up. I told you, I just got this deck. This isn't even the regular card. This isn't even the regular card. This is the card that comes with the deck. And I didn't take it out. Wow. This is meant for you. This is meant for you. Listen to this. It says, you are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities through this day. May you find a path to your best self. That's for you. How did this stay in this deck? And I didn't catch it because I did a little shuffle earlier. And then this was the first thing that came out. Wow. Which obviously is for the person who buys the deck. But 
what was said could be towards you as well. Again, self-esteem. I'm going to read this again. You are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find the path to your best self. You're going to be feeling yourself and you're going to really be stepping into your best self in the month of April. That is crazy. I told you these cars are something else. Now, thank you, deck. We're off to a good start. But may I please have eight cards for the energy <laughs> of April 2021 for Capricorn, please. May I please have eight cards. But thank you for that. I like the way you started that off. Okay, see, the sun, you already, you are shining. You are going to be feeling yourself. Sun is Leo energy. You might meet a Leo <laughs> too. <laughs> also, um, sun energy I always have to do the caveat. It's a possibility that you may be pregnant or you may have got somebody pregnant or somebody within your inner circle may end up being pregnant. So in, in the month of April, if you hear about some pregnancy news from somebody, don't be surprised in the month of April. Also, um, someone could be buying a new car, too, which is weird for the sun card. I found that out recently that the sun card can mean someone may be buying a new car. So, yes, someone may be buying a new car in the month of April. Goodness, Let me see. May I have seven more cards for thank you. Five of Cups. Yeah, I'm not. That's usually about sorrow, regret, remorse. I'm going to read that as a reversal. I'm not because I'm not picking that up. I'm not seeing you in that energy. Death card. Scorpio. Energy. Removing what doesn't serve you. It wouldn't surprise me if you were leaving a relationship. May I have five more cards, please? Okay. Something's telling me to take this card. Wow. Something's telling me to take this one, too. Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. All of this is fire energy. Sagittarius, um, Aries, and Leo. You really might be meeting a Leo. Also, um, and at the bottom of the deck, I can't make this up. Look, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. But... Also, with the Ace of Wands, you're going to be starting something new. I feel like you might be starting a new relationship, but it could be a new project, new idea, new job, new whatever. You're going to have a lot of passion about what you start. And Eight of Wands is, is movement. You're going to be moving towards it. Also, it can be communication coming in, something coming in to you. With these two together... Um, the Ace of Wands can also stand for, well, you know what the wand looks like. It can stand for that too. So that might be coming in to you, possibly from a Leo. If you have a Leo in your life, there might be a Leo that's interested in you because there's a lot of Leo, a lot of fire. I'm feeling Leo all over this. So don't be surprised. If you're approached by a Leo, especially if um, someone's trying to slide into your DMs um, on that level, which I just say slide into your DMs, but obviously they can contact you another way. But it wouldn't surprise me if you're approached by somebody and they're a Leo, because I'm just all this fire energy in Leo. I'm seeing that, but with the sun card being here, whether you're male or female, and you're feeling yourself, again, this doesn't have genders. Whether you're male or female with the sun card being here and with this ace of wands being here, just some, somebody going to be fertile. Just keep that in mind. Someone's going to be extra fertile, so you might want to take extra precaution because you don't want to find out a little bit later that, yeah, <laughs> Unless you're looking to have a kid, then go for it. To each his own. We need more people on this planet anyway, is how I look at it. 
I say we don't have enough people. Yeah. Three of Cups came out. Celebration. Celebration. Three of Cups is water energy. And I really feel like this is going to be... Um, this is a tower, but I don't think this is a bad tower. I feel you're going to meet someone. I feel this tower is the climax. Is what I feel. I'm not reading this tower as a bad energy. Also, this is more fire energy. Tower, the tower card is ruled by Mars. Mars is related to the sign of Aries. So there is a lot of fire energy in here. I feel like you're going to end up meeting the fire sign. I would say Leo first, Aries second, which is weird because if you meet an Aries, Aries and Capricorn together, that's it's an interesting pair. Let's just say that. All right. I need one more card. I need one more card. May I have one more card for the energy of Capricorn for April 2021, please? May I have one more card for the energy of Capricorn? For April 2021. But yeah, I feel like you're going to end up meeting the fire sign. If you're not meeting the fire sign, then you are you will be exuding fire sign characteristics in the month of April. Oh, wow. Okay, so these fell out. The Hierophant. So this is this can be institutions. This can also be marriage as well. Um, huh. I don't want to say that you're going to meet this person at work. This is also commitment, too. I don't see, I'm not picking up the energy of someone asking you to marry them. Usually when this comes out, especially with the three of wands, I mean, not three of wands, three of three of wands is on my mind. Three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in, which is more fire energy. But no, with the three of cups and the sun and the eight of wands, which is something coming in and the ace of wands, something new. But I don't see I'm not picking up the energy of a proposal that would be. I just feel like that would be too quick. Maybe because the seven of wands came out with it. It came out reversed. Seven of wands is standing in your conviction, standing your ground, so on and so forth. The opposite would be you fold. I don't, I don't see that happening. I feel that You're because you're going to be so into yourself in April. Now that you finally realized your worth, you're going to be so into yourself. I don't see that happening either. I feel like if you meet someone, it's going to be through something else. Let me look. This is going to go a little bit longer than I anticipated. I only wanted this to be 15 to 20 minutes, but I feel like this is about to go longer. I need some clarification on this. Because I'm just being nosy now. Because I don't feel this is going to be a proposal. I feel like you're going to meet someone somewhere. It's something formal, something maybe involving the job. I need clarification on the on the Hierophant. May I have clarification on the Hierophant, please? I'm using my clarification deck. May I have clarification on the Hierophant, please? One thing I do know is your April is going to be amazing. I think I'm going to title this video Too Much Self-Esteem. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Energy. Something will be coming in fast. That's a, they're clarifying it with the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is logical, methodical, things like that. But it's something coming in fast. And because it's air energy, I feel like this is going to be related to 
usually it's related to something legal. Now I am leaning towards marriage. With some type of communication. What's going on? Really? Can can we get it a little bit clearer, please? Because I'm I'm lost on this one. Where are they going to meet this person? Wow, that just jumped out. What was this? These two cards. Six of Wands is victory. And then you got the Three of Cups again in the clarifying deck. That's celebration. I feel like you're going to be meeting someone at a at some type of gathering. It's going to be some official gathering. I don't know what the um, celebration is going to be for. What official institution, like I don't know if companies are having get-togethers right now, but it's something, oh, 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 oh. Why I sound like old girl on um, the first coming to America? <laughs> Let me see. It wouldn't surprise me if you if someone is getting married, people are still getting married. If someone's getting married in the month of April. Don't be surprised if you meet someone there. Maybe if people they're going to social distance or whatever, or have, however they're doing it these days. Don't be surprised if you meet someone there. I feel like graduation, um, school graduations don't happen until May. So that's not, I don't see that as being it. With that air energy, I doubt anyone's graduating from college in April. So I don't think that's it. Maybe they could be. I feel like this may be a wedding of some sort. It's going to be some sort of official thing. So check your calendar. If there's some sort of official thing like um, college graduation, maybe they are having them in April or a wedding is happening in April. I'm trying to think what else. Other things where it's related to an official institution and you know that there's going to be a gathering of some sort or a retirement party for someone. Someone decided to retire after 20 years at the job or something. I feel like you're going to meet someone there and you two are going to hit it off. Let me, may I have just one more card to clarify, please? May I have just one more card to clarify, please? For Capricorn. What's going on with the two of swords? So two of swords, obviously there's going to be a choice. There, air energy again, which air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, yeah, there's going to be a choice that needs to be made. Also, two of swords can be blocking something, but I, I'm not picking that up. I'm picking up a choice being made. Let me have, may I have, th thank you. Hold on, you gave me two cards. What's going on with this? Six of swords is going away from something. Seven of Swords is out of is strategy. Here, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Going away from something, Seven of Swords is strategy. Why do I feel like this person that you meet, you may want to keep them a secret, which might be why you're going to be debating on what to choose what the choice is. And with all of this air energy showing up, you may end up meeting an air sign. You may be the one exuding this fire, all of this fire that I've been seeing in here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you may end up meeting an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I really feel you're going to meet someone at some type of event is what I'm picking up. And this has went way longer than I meant for this to go, just because I'm being nosy. But that's what I feel like. I feel like you're going to meet this person at the event. You two are going to hit it off. I feel like you two are, are going to physically get together, especially with this tower here. I feel like you two are going to physically get to with the tower and the Ace of Wands 
and the eight of wands, you, there's definitely going to be celebration. You have three, three of cups, which is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have the three of cups that came out in the main deck and the three of cups that came out in the clarifying deck. There's going to be some type of celebration in April. That, that's what the energy is saying. You're going to meet that person. Someone is going to catch your eye or um, you're going to catch their eye. And I feel like you two are already going to have somewhat of an idea about each other. Like you don't, it isn't someone that you may have known for years. Because if the Six of Cups would have came out, I would have been like, oh, it's going to be somebody you probably know for years. But since the Six of Cups didn't come out, I don't believe that's the case. I believe it's somebody that you just kind of know around the way. Sort of like someone's second cousin or whatever that you know about, like you heard them talk about the person and they just happened to show up at the event, that type of thing. I'm not saying it'll exactly be that, but it's something like you'll know them around the way, but you won't know them, know them. And then because you're in all this energy, because again, you got too much self-esteem right now. And again, you can be male or female. You really catch their eye at this little get together. And you like them too, but you're debating if you want to let it be a one-time thing or a more long-term thing. Hence the seven of swords with strategy. Because seven of swords can be where someone's trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes or do something shady, but also seven of swords can be strategy. And with that coming out, with the Six of Swords, which is going away from something, I feel like you are going to try and keep the, like your relationship, whether it be physical, romantic, or otherwise, away from the people that know both of you at the, at the celebration, at the party. Like, you're going to have a conversation with them and say, OK, look, let's keep this between us. Don't tell your family. I'm not going to tell my family. We can still chat it up a little bit. That's going to be that. And if we and if we get together again, because like I said, I already feel that you two are going to get together physically. I already feel that's in the cards. I'm feeling that. But as for if you decide to carry on with it, and even if you don't get together again physically. Is still something that you will more than likely attempt to keep secret from the rest of the people that you know, you and whoever this other individual is. You're going to keep it. You're going to try to keep it private from everybody else. That's what I picked up, Capricorn. But you got too much self-esteem in April. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to put for your title. All right. If this resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like button. I did not mean for it to go that long, but it went long because I was being nosy. And also, don't forget to subscribe. That way you will know when I upload new videos. And don't forget to share because sharing is caring. K-I-R-W-K-C dot com. Main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, so on and so forth. And K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Until next time, be blessed.